Okay, so the next trial for Cave of Prophecies, which is located in Isle of Dawn, embark on the second trial. And these, again, were originally during the season of prophecy, but as has been true of the seasons, past few seasons, this these quests will remain, so you can always continue, uh, complete this, these prophecy trials uh, and complete the prophecy cave, uh, which, of course, is a... Uh, a lore lover's dream here, those who love the lore of Sky. So here we are, Prophet of Earth, or Earth Trial. You gotta light all the candles in order to activate the little portal. Each of the trials does offer you a winged delight at the end. So you do have to do them every time you want to recollect the winged delight, but there are, is one per trial four total, so that's up to you whether you decide to. Items and spells cannot be used in the trials. However, warp can. Friend actions can. Warp, piggyback, anything else. Handhold. All of those things do work in the trials. So you can warp to your friends in the trials. You cannot teleport into a trial. In my world, teleport and warp are two different things. This I think is my favorite trial, um, especially solo. I, again, I my my only experience with doing these things until the day I recorded these videos was during a live stream with six to eight other people or six to seven other people. Um, the as you'll see, little animations happen like this. This one's not so bad, but they can get you disoriented, and then you don't know since you didn't see where the person was when they activated the animation, you can get turned around and not really know what that was all about. Um, it, that's my number one dislike of online multiplayer games. So, solo, I was in control of everything I was seeing, so sometimes I made a wrong turn. Uh, but I made a lot fewer wrong turns because I saw things as they go. Now, one of the tricks that I, that somebody told me in a live stream and that I've discovered on my own as well is keep moving whenever you're on these rotating or or cattywampus little blocks just move just keep jumping so you have to rotate and just keep jumping and you'll jump from one to the next and you probably won't fall that's not the way I wanted to go <laughs> you probably won't fall uh, this one pretty much requires patience um, for me, it required me to be alone <laughs> to really get an idea of what I was doing. Um, and I still, I think, was lucky. Like, I didn't make too many wrong turns, and I think that was just lucky. I just, I just chanced on guessing right the first time. Much of the time. Um, but I really, I really enjoy this one. It's, it's uh, mazes or have been always been a love of mine. Mazes, labyrinths, things that make you figure out where you're going. Some of the earliest games I remember playing on the computer, there was a game called Labyrinth. And uh, I just loved it. And there was a, oh, there's another game called um, the, the Scarab of Ra. And it was a labyrinth game um, in the, in the, in the uh, pyramids. And so you were going down into the pyramid from the top to the bottom, obviously, because they're buried, so top to the bottom. So the, the labyrinth gets bigger and bigger and bigger every level you go down. And just, I just love these kinds of games. So this, this is right up my alley. So on this one, you just got to wait. I'm seeing if I can go that way. I can't. Okay, so it looks like that's my only way to go. And plus there's a, there's a shrine on it, or a statue on it. So here we go, just jump and keep your feet moving. And there we go. And this is one of those animations that happens that you get pulled into even if you're not right here. You get pulled into it and then totally turned around. <laughs> if you're not right there with it happening, you get you can get I get very disoriented. Okay. So that clears away. And you can also see what it cleared. 
when you do that. I think that was a guess, actually. So here's another bit of a problem. There's candles over there I didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't go back and do. But kind of the same idea as getting to those candles. And there was a fail. Dying is not that big a deal here. that tells you where you're going, but you're also right there. So that's helpful. So don't do this one when you're distracted by other things. That can make it more difficult. There's our star taunting us there. Yeah, I still call them stars. Wing delight. Look, a big hole in the wall. Is that the way we're supposed to go then? Looks like it. What the heck? Okay, and this is the most challenging part, of course, the end. Um, and again, just keep your feet moving, just keep jumping. And fail. Try again. Just keep going, just keep jumping. This is a lot easier with a controller, I'll bet. So I do have a controller, of course, and so, yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think that would be much easier with a controller. Probably very hard with a touch screen. And there we go. That was it. Like I said, I, I, this is my favorite one. This is definitely my favorite one. And... I don't think I edited anything out of this one. I think that was what that is. That was my first time trying, it and that is how it went. So just those couple few deaths, which for me, I was very very pleased with. Mm -hmm. So this one's not that hard for me. Probably the easiest one. There's our winged light. You have honored the wisdom of resilience. Return to the Season Guide. Resilience. Let me get floating. 
rotating stones. Along with some chap inches. Okay, so run on back down to the season guide. See what he has for us this time. We fulfilled the wish of this ancestor spirit. There are all kinds of lore discussion groups, I think, and a, a whole Discord for lore. And uh, on the official Discord, there's also a lore channel. So you can go to those and look at those if you're really interested in what people think of all this lore that has been revealed here in this, in this cave. Um, this is pretty cool. So that is that one. And next we will go to the trial of air. Thanks for watching.